It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. Now that we've talked about parenting, the last step is to make a BB-8 character. So first we need to know what BB-8 looks like. You can see here, I have this little BB-8 character. We're going to create this as the last step. Let's look at what BB-8 looks like. I'm gonna go type BB-8. So BB-8 is made of, of a spear and then kind of like a smushed spear at the top. Then it has like this long antenna. On the front it has, if I click, it has like this bigger eye that's a black spear and another spear. So we know how to make spears and we can use the scale and move tool. Let's try to make BB-8. I'm gonna put BB-8 there. All right, so the first thing, just like we made this box, we first start by creating a empty 3D object. So I'm gonna create empty. I'm gonna rename it BB-8. And from there, I need to use some 3D objects to kind of build this body out. So I'm gonna right click on BB-8, the empty object, 3D objects, and I'm gonna select spear. So that is kind of BB-8 smaller body. I'm gonna make sure the BB-8 is not gonna fall out. Looks like he is. So I'm gonna select the BB-8 top. I'm gonna to BB-8 object. I'm gonna move BB-8 over here. That way he falls into the box. So I have this spear. I'm just gonna rename it body. And then I wanna do the head. So I'm gonna duplicate. Again, I can right click and do duplicate. Or I can just do Command D or Control D. And you can see now I have two spears. So body one, I'm gonna rename that as the head. And I'm gonna use my move tool to move it up. Now you can see the head is kind of smushed down um, and not as big as the body. So I'm gonna use the scale tool up here. Scale to something like that. And maybe I'll smush it down like that. And then obviously I need to move this and connect. So here we go. So the next thing is he has these two big old eyes. So maybe I can click on head. I'm gonna right click. 3D object, and I'm going to select a spear. Now, if I bring it out, it's the same type of spear as that. So I'm gonna use my scale tool, scale it down. Remember, I made it smaller, so I'm gonna, good for his eye. Maybe I need to make it a little bit smaller, and then I'm just gonna move that and back. So that's the big here, and then he has another one. So I'm gonna duplicate this, and I'll just move this over. And again, this one is smaller, so I'm gonna make it smaller. Pull it down some and out. And I wanna make sure that it's inside. So you gotta kinda make sure, so like this is way too far out. I'm gonna push it down, out. And then this one is not even in his body, in like that. So the last part of BB-8 that we will kinda try to simulate is he has like these two tall things. So on his head, I'm gonna right click, 3D object, well, those look like cylinders to me, so I'm gonna select a cylinder. Again, I'm going to use the scale tool. I'm going to scale down. Then maybe I need to scale up with my move tool like that. Again, I can go back to scale if I don't like that. Is that, and he has a little smaller one right there. I'm just gonna duplicate this, right click and do duplicate. Or you could select Command or Control D and this one down some into the head. All right, so that's a pretty good replica of BB-8, but how do we get the colors on there? So this could be black and this is, could be black. So that's pretty simple. I would right click down here, create a new material. I would call it black. I would come up here and select a black color. So then that's black and that's black. But what about his body? How could we get his body? Now it's not gonna be exact, but it will look pretty good. Um, there's better ways to do this in 3D modeling, but we're just trying to use some basic shapes to kind of simulate a character that looks like BB-8. So how can we get like this kind of nice design on his body? Well, let's think about it. How do we do that down here? We went to Google Images, we found what we wanted, we dragged in the pictures here, and when we dragged it onto a 3D object, it made these materials for us. So we can do the exact same thing for BB-8. So let's go over here, and instead of saying BB-8, let's do BB-8 body. So now you can see there is some images like this 
that have just his body um, or images like this. So I might wanna open up this in a new tab. And now I could save this or I can use a snipping tool. So this is really big. I'm gonna use a snipping tool. This is 2000 by 2000. I really don't need it that big. So what I'm gonna do is do command shift five or use your snipping tool on a Mac or Windows. And let's just say I wanted these two things here. I could grab all four if I wanted, but I'm just gonna grab two just to see how it looks. So now that I did that snipping tool, Remember how to get it inside your thing. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna do import new asset. There is that, what I just imported. I'm going to import it. Let's just rename it BB8 body. And again, it's a, just a picture right now, but when I drag this to the 3D object, you can see it in here, it made a BB8 body material. So that looks, let's see, I can't really see because of the lighting of all of the shapes. Let's move BB-8 up. Actually, let's move them down. And let's click on BB-8 and I press F with my thing, it zooms to them. So that looks pretty good. If I kind of scroll around, you can see, because I selected two, it kind of morph, morphed him. But the head is still not right. BB-8 has some stuff on his head as well. Well, I'm just gonna use that same thing. I'm not gonna even, so there we go. So now I have kind of a cool BB-8 character to make. Um, the top is black here, so I'm gonna make this part black as well. And there is my BB-8. Now, let's press play and see what happens. There is something that we forgot to do. I'm gonna press play. So everybody except for BB-8 actually fall. But why do you think that is? What do these things have that BB-8 doesn't? It doesn't have gravity. Gravity is what pulls you down to Earth. So we need to add gravity to our BB-8. And I also don't like the BB-8s looking away from me. I want it to look towards us. So I know my camera is right here. I want BB-8 to face that camera. So I'm gonna select BB-8 and I'm simply going to click on the rotate tool. And I could just drag it around this way. Oh, but I just know the opposite direction should be 180 degrees. So I'm gonna type that right here. So now you can see BB-8 is facing my camera. If I press play, BB-8 is facing the camera. So let's deal with the gravity. How do we add gravity? So I'm on BB-8. Right now, it doesn't have anything. Anytime you wanna add something to a 3D object, you're gonna click on add component. Well, what is the component that gives gravity? It's right here, rigid body. Make sure you select rigid body 3D. And you can see when you add a rigid body, it has used gravity. So when I press play now, BB-8 falls down to the ground and then he kind of rolls around. Well, I added gravity to the BB-8 top. What would happen if I added it to the body and the head? Let's see, so I'm gonna click on BB-8. I'm going to remove the rigid body from BB-8. So if I press play now, you can see BB-8 is not moving. Well, a common error that most students make is, okay, I'm gonna add a rigid body to this part, body. So that circle has a rigid body. I'm gonna add a rigid body to the head part. Now let's press play. What's going to happen? Well, if you look at it, let's pause it. What happens to BB-8's head? You can see his body's over here and his head over there. We don't want BB-8 to kind of dissemble. The reason that's happening is you're giving gravity to the body and gravity to the head. So they're both getting their own forces. So that's a common error. Well, mister, why, why is my BB-8 separating? You don't wanna add gravity to both of these objects. You wanna add it to the master object, entire, the empty game object called BB-8. So over here on head, I'm gonna click, I'm gonna go ahead and remove. When I go here, you can see rigid body. I'm going to click remove component for that. For the body, I'm gonna click on my rigid body. I'm gonna remove for that. Back to BB-8, click on add rigid body. So now if I unpause, I want you to look at something. I just deleted from the head, the rigid body, and from the body, the rigid body. Why is it back? Here's the thing. If you press play, and then you press pause, you are still in play mode. So any changes you make are actually not made. So again, right now I'm paused and I can unpause it or pause and you can see BB-8's disassembled. If I look rigid bodies here, I'm going to remove the rigid body again from this. I'm gonna click on my head again. 
and remove the rigid body from my head. Again, I am in pause mode right now. So the changes I made does not apply to my overall game. I'm modifying while my game is paused. What you need to do is unpause it, unplay. Now you're back here and then remove the rigid body from your head. Click on your body, remove the rigid body component and they will stay like that. So again, make sure when you press play and pause, you unpause and you come out of play mode in order to make changes that you want to permanently keep. I'm going to click on BB-8 now and add back in my rigid body so we can, and there you go. So this is It's Raining Shapes with BB-8. Now what I want you to do is to create your own unique character. You know how to create these different 3D shapes. I want you to, here's my BB-8. Here was the box that we made. Here, I want to create an empty object, my own character, and use the 3D shapes to make some type of character. Here are three student examples that they use to make their own unique character. Again, use your creativity. Try to use the 3D shapes to make your own character. So you can see, they made a little minion. Over here, if we play it, you can see they made a SpongeBob. And if I come over here, this person actually made a Minecraft person. So again, the last part of this project is for you to create your own little character by right-clicking, selecting Create Empty Object, call it whatever your character is, so my character, and then using Right click and use these 3D objects to try to make your own unique character to fall down alongside BB-8. Let's say you created your custom character. So you can see I have a SpongeBob here, I have my BB-8, and I have a minion, but it's still too dark. What do you do? What you wanna do is add a directional light. So I'm gonna right click, and you can see I have light, and we do directional light. So you already have one in the scene, but if you want to make something lighter, obviously you want to have a directional light. Now you can see things look a lot brighter and a lot better. I can really see my characters. It makes it pop. So that's very simple to actually add some more to your It's Raining Shapes game. Let's play it. Let's just see how it looks. So there we go. SpongeBob and the Minion and BB-8 kind of roll over. Last step is to simply add your name to this project and turn it into your teacher.